Hello guys and girls, welcome back to another video. Today is the release day of the PlayStation 4 Pro. Now I actually picked this up last night at midnight, um, but I never actually got around to open it because I was up very early in the morning, 6 o'clock, I had to be at work. So I decided just to pick it up and then the next day I can just go straight home and uh, open this bad boy up. So here I am, finally home and uh, very excited to open this thing. So this is the PS4 Pro if you guys have heard. Um, release today which is the 10th of November and yeah I'm just really excited now a lot of people are a bit skeptical about this PlayStation they say it's not worth the upgrade for me I'm a huge PlayStation fan I don't actually own an Xbox not to say I'm against Xbox I just prefer the PlayStation exclusive so I'm always gonna um, purchase whatever PlayStation bring out now if I feel like it's not worth the upgrade obviously I wouldn't be buying it but this one the upgrade seems good enough for me to actually benefit my enjoyment when it comes to gaming. Now I don't actually have a 4K TV yet, but I do plan getting one around Christmas time. But this video is just gonna be an unboxing of the PS4 Pro, so well, let's get inside. So this is a one terabyte console. All the PS4 Pros will be one terabyte, which is very nice for me. I know you can change the hard drive with the original PlayStations, but I never actually got around to doing that. So I'm always deleting my games and um, just to try and create some space, but. Hopefully it won't be the case this time around as I've got the one terabyte. But this console comes in jet black, which they all do. I'm pretty sure they'll bring some um, other colours out in the near future. But I mean, black is the traditional colour for the PlayStations these days, so I guess this is not too bad. But just reading off the back of the box, the power of the PlayStation 4 Pro go beyond gaming as you know it. With unrivaled processing power and visuals of remarkable vibrancy, heighten your experiences, enrich your adventures, let the supercharged PS4 Pro lead the way. So if you don't have a 4K TV, you can still actually get uh, some good use out of this PlayStation. It will boost the quality of your games. Now, it's not compatible with every game. Um, I think from release day, so from today, there's actually 31 games which will be compatible with the Pro. Some of the bigger ones will be The Last of Us, uh, Uncharted 4, Dishonored 2, which I was actually lucky to get with my Pro. This game actually comes out on the 11th, which is tomorrow, but they was doing a special deal in my local game store. If you pick up a PS4 Pro, you get this for £20. So here I am picking up Dishonored 2 for £20, an absolute steal, and it's a game I was actually really interested in buying anyway, so I'm very, very pleased with that. Um, I've only actually just recently gone through Dishonored. I picked up the remastered version, or the definitive version they call it, on the PS4 and had a lot of fun with it, even though it looked a bit, I mean for a definitive version it didn't look like a major upgrade graphically, but I just really enjoyed the gameplay and um, I can only expect this one to be a lot better, this one or two. So you got all your manuals in inside, cool stuff, I never actually look into those, but still nice to have. Now this is actually a big box, it actually weighs quite a bit. This place in PlayStation does weigh a bit more than the original, which I'll hopefully give you some sort of comparison and size difference in a moment. My, actually, my PS4 is actually on my left right now, it may be to your right, but it's uh, all plugged in, I need to keep it plugged in because I'm going to transfer all my data from that PS4 to my brand new Pro, so that's going to be a bit of a headache, but still, it's got to be done. And here it is, it looks really, really slick. Right, carefully packaged. And one thing I should mention, it's probably worth buying the warranty with this, even if it's just for the first month or two, because I was told if anything goes wrong, obviously these haven't been tested for long periods, but if anything does go wrong, it can only be repaired in Japan. So it means sending it all the way to Japan, and it's got to come all the way back, that could take a long time, so it may be worth getting warranty for the first month or two. Um, just to save you that hassle in case anything did go wrong. But luckily, I've never had any issues with PlayStation consoles, never in my time. So, um, hopefully, I'll touch wood. <laughs> hopefully, nothing goes wrong here. So, here it is the PlayStation 4 Pro. It is actually pretty weighty, it does weigh quite a bit. But a lovely design. Um, it's got like the three trays here, so we will compare it to, compare it to a sandwich. But uh, with the PS4, the normal one's just got the two little trays, here's got the three, but they are a bit slimmer. Uh, you've got your ventilation system here, you probably won't be able to see it, but it's actually on both sides, which is cool. Love the PlayStation logo on the front. I'm probably going to lay mine down flat like this, horizontal, that's how I do all my consoles. In the back we have a 
spare USB port. You can see there we've got the original two at the front, like with the original PlayStation, and then we've got the one at the back, which is a third one, which is cool. We've got the LAN cable, the HDMI port, an AUX cable, digital out, optical, and obviously the power there. So yeah, not really much else to show you here. Also we've got a PlayStation symbol on the back of the console. Um, oh yes, another new feature would be the disc tray. Now there's actually a button on this one, which I've heard is a bit flimsy or feels a bit flimsy. Uh, but there it is, the eject button. Just there where my finger is. So that will bring your disc out. So I don't think it's touch anymore. I think it's actually kind of like a button. Yes it is, I'm not sure if you can hear that. So it works more as a button here. I'm not really sure what to do that because I did love the touch. It was a bit frustrating at times where you'll be trying to plug in the USB and then you accidentally eject the CD or something like that. It was a bit, a bit frustrating at times but I did love the little touch feature on the console. And um, let's see what else is inside. Obviously we'll have all the cables and stuff. So we have a little leaflet here. Protection policy. Cool. Protection policy five pounds a month. The game it's actually three fifty or something like that. Whatever I said before, it's actually promoting a four K TV here. Um, the award-winning four K HDR Android TV. In case you guys are interested in that. So um, where are these cables? There they are, hidden away. Bam. Okay, so we have the power socket, I believe, which will go in the back of the PS4. So a nice lengthy cable there, not sure how long exactly, it looks around, wait, does it tell us? Uh, can't seem to find the length of this, but I'm guessing it's around a meter possibly. We also have a USB cable here to charge the controller or headset or anything like that, so cool to have. Uh, and I think it's maybe the last cable inside. Oh, we got three more cables here. One is the headset, which you guys will know with the PS4. Never use this, I usually just keep it in the bag. We also have the HDMI socket. Now I'm actually wondering because it's like a 1.4 or a 2.0 HDMI cable. I think we want the 2.0 because it actually gives you better quality in your games. And here we have the new DualShock controller. Now it feels pretty similar. It looks a little bit different. Uh, I believe they've changed some stuff with the lighting, but uh, I'm really blessed, pleased where I've got this because my other one was almost falling apart, the analogs were kind of tearing off and stuff like that. But uh, this is what it looks like, it looks pretty much the exact same. Uh, here's my other one, so this is the original and this is the new one, so you can, guys can decide for yourself. I mean, from my view now, they pretty much look identical. So. I mean, material-wise, it's a little, it's, it's a bit different. Um, other than that, it looks exactly the same. So I think it's just a bit of the material, the uh, like the actual cover. It feels a bit more grippy. If that makes any sense? Like you've got a firmer grip on it. It's not as slippery. So cool. I mean, I, I had no problem with the original PS4 controller, so I don't have any problem with this one. Um, and this cable here. Hmm. I have to try and dig inside the leaflet here and just try and find out what kind of cable this is. But I'm pretty sure it does come with a 2.0 cable. But yeah, that's everything for this unboxing. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Thank you once again for tuning in. This is the PS4 Pro. I will give you my views on it um, in a later video. But honestly, I'm very excited to plug this thing in and try it out for myself. And until then, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. See ya.